write the sum of the series 1 square minus 2 square plus 3 square minus 4 square plus 5 square minus 6 square plus and so on 2n minus 1 whole square minus 2n whole square. Let us write the sum as Sn is equal to 1 square minus 2 square plus 3 square minus 4 square plus 5 square minus 6 square and so on 2n minus 1 whole square minus 2n whole square. By taking minus common we can write 2 square minus 1 square plus 4 square minus 3 square plus 6 square minus 5 square plus and so on we can write 2n whole square minus 2n minus 1 whole square. So let us keep the brackets in pairwise. So each pair is in the form of a square minus b square. So we have a square minus b square is a minus b into a plus b. So we can write which is equal to minus of 2 square minus 1 square we can write 2 minus 1 into 2 plus 1 and 4 square minus 3 square we can write 4 minus 3 into 4 plus 3 and 6 square minus 5 square we can write 6 minus 5 into 6 plus 5. And so on up to 2n minus of 2n minus 1 into 2n plus of 2n minus 1. So you can write minus of 2 minus 1 it's a 1 into 2 plus 1 it's a 3 and here 4 minus 3 is 1 and we know the difference of two consecutive numbers is 1 so we can add 4 plus 3 is 7 and 6 minus 5 is 1 into 6 plus 5 11 and so on up to 2n minus 2n plus 1 into again here 2n plus 2n minus 1 so we can write here minus of 3 plus 7 plus 11 plus and so on it's 1 into 2n plus 2n that is 4n minus 1 so clearly it is a arithmetic progression it's a series of ap whose first term a is equal to 3 and the common difference d is equal to 7 minus 3 that is 4 and the last term is equal to 4n minus 1 and we can write the sum of n terms is sum to n terms is nothing but n upon 2 into first term plus last term a plus l so we can write minus of n by 2 times of a plus that is first term is 3 and the last term is 4n minus 1 which is equal to minus n upon 2 into 4n 3 minus 1 it is 2 or we can take 2 common 2n plus 1 so which is equal to minus n times of 2n plus 1 is the answer.